SpaceX Elon Musk's spacefaring company just threw a curveball into his audacious plan to transport humanity beyond Earth. Despite the fact that the design of the Starship seems to have been finalized, it is undergoing a dramatic metamorphosis. A new set of blueprints whispers of superior capabilities, leaving many to wonder what exactly has changed, and if these changes are truly necessary. An in-depth examination of the latest versions of the Starship unveils the mysteries surrounding its evolution in this video. As you may be aware, SpaceX has carved out a niche for itself in the world of commercial space and is arguably the leading company in that field. Even NASA, America's space agency, has become a frequent collaborator, particularly when it comes to rockets and the exploration of space as a result of their phenomenal success. With the help of a $1.5 billion contract, SpaceX is developing a human landing system for a lunar return in the Artemis III program, which is launching in 2020. In spite of the importance of the Artemis III capsule project and the Dragon II capsule project, the real star of the show remains the Starship. It is safe to say that Musk and his team of dedicated engineers are relentlessly pursuing the ultimate vehicle, one that will be capable of traversing the daunting 140 million miles between Earth and Mars. This is a monumental undertaking, and SpaceX has no intention of backing down from it. Let us take a moment to revisit the Starship in its original form before we dissect the changes that have been made to it. There are two key components to this colossal transportation system, the most powerful launch vehicle ever devised. They are the Super Heavy Rocket Booster and the Starship rocket itself. In the initial concept, the Starship was described as a behemoth of stainless steel that would stand at 121 meters tall, measure a staggering 9 meters wide, and house a whopping 40 passenger cabins. Tesla Motors founder Elon Musk has made it clear what his ambitions are he wants to transport humans beyond Earth and establish a permanent presence on Mars. It has taken SpaceX, his brainchild, a great deal of time and attention to craft the Starship, a revolutionary space vehicle that has been specifically designed to achieve this audacious goal. It was originally envisioned as a behemoth capable of holding 40 cabins but Musk himself has admitted that there is a lot of flexibility in it. It is possible that you could have five or six passengers in each cabin, but the likelihood is that we would probably see two or three passengers per cabin, translating to approximately 100 passengers per Mars flight. As well as human transportation, the Starship also featured a cargo bay that could hold up to 100 tons of cargo, a cavernous space that measures 30 feet wide and 9 meters long. Musk has stated that this cargo would be instrumental in building a self-sustaining Martian city by 2060, if Musk is correct. Even the undeniable feat of engineering that is the Starship was not immune to Musk's relentless pursuit of improvement over the years. There is no doubt that Musk thrives on innovation as one would expect from a tech genius. Therefore, he does not hesitate to make changes when he deems them to be necessary. As a matter of fact, this is exactly what happened with the Starship. It is evident from the latest iterations that a lot of attention has been paid to hardware modifications. The purpose of these changes is to bolster leak reduction, enhance fire safety, and refine propellant venting procedures, all of which contribute to a more reliable operation of the system. Moreover, a major transition is underway. The Starship's Raptor engines are being converted from a hydraulic system to a fully electric system with the help of a fully electric power supply. There are no potential concerns about flammability as a result of this, adding another layer of safety to the system. It is important to note, however, that innovation does not stop there. As part of this upgrade, the Starship's heat shield system is also being upgraded. This is crucial in order to survive the scorching re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere as a result of the new design's superior heat resistance. Additionally, the SpaceX team has decided that hexagonal heat shields will be used instead of square heat shields for the upcoming project. The importance of this seemingly minor detail cannot be overstated. A hexagonal shape has a distinct advantage over a hexagonal form in that it eliminates straight paths for hot gas to accelerate through gaps, resulting in a better distribution of heat that is more uniform and efficient. Every plan, no matter how ambitious, needs to be constantly evaluated in order to stay on track. The same is true when it comes to Elon Musk's vision for the Starship. Even though initial tests have shown that the heat shield works well, Musk, ever the perfectionist, is already considering the use of additional safeguards in the future. In the event that tests reveal any erosion he assured, we will add transpiration cooling systems wherever necessary. This proactive approach ensures optimal protection for the spacecraft during re-entry. Furthermore, Musk envisions that the Starship will be ready in a short period of time. 
He said that after fixing the heat shield problem, there would be no need for refurbishment. There is a need for a rapid deployment solution which will minimize downtime between missions given this ambitious goal. A crucial component of the Starship that is poised to make a technological leap in the near future is its landing leg system. It is these robust metallic appendages that are responsible for the immense responsibility of guiding the behemoth safely back to Earth. Despite some challenges encountered by past prototypes, there are hints of significant upgrades on the way that promise exciting advancements to come. The early hiccups with leg deployment and landing stability exposed areas that could be improved in the future. It is not impossible to imagine a stronger material or a complete redesign of the legs to ensure they are able to withstand the immense forces of a returning starship these kind of reinforcements are possible to take place. As a matter of fact, the focus may go beyond raw strength in some cases. A few tweaks to the deployment mechanism itself could lead to a smoother, more controlled landing sequence by modifying the mechanism itself. It is easy to imagine the legs locking into place with unwavering precision, making sure they are perfectly prepared to absorb the impact should it occur. There is no doubt that the realm of possibility extends beyond what is officially announced. There is always the chance for speculation to take flight, conjuring up further enhancements. To further withstand the scorching re-entry, perhaps the legs will be outfitted with heat-resistant materials that will be able to withstand the heat. There's even the possibility that they might incorporate built-in sensors that can detect potential damage before landing, allowing for real-time adjustments to be made and allowing for a safer return. In similar fashion to the entire spacecraft, the future of the Starship's landing system is a blank canvas of innovation just waiting to be painted. It remains tantalizingly shrouded in secrecy that the future of the landing system on board the Starship as it hurtles toward its destiny will be revealed in the near future. Although the majority of the attention is focused on heat shield improvements and rapid turnaround times, speculation swirls around the landing legs themselves as well. Is there a possibility that landing routines might be automated in the future? If you were to imagine a scenario in which human error is minimized, and the Starship gracefully touches down with perfect precision, you would be amazed. In my opinion, this would not just be a remarkable feat of engineering prowess, but it would be the key to unlocking a truly reusable Starship. If such advancements were not made, each landing would be a one-time deal, driving up costs and hindering the viability of the business over the long term. The importance of these upgrades cannot be overstated. In the next iteration, the data gathered from real-world testing will serve as a treasure trove of information for future iterations of the product. Having analyzed the performance of their leg designs, SpaceX is able to refine them in order to ensure optimal performance in a wide variety of landing conditions. I think it is important to keep in mind that the Starship aspires to become a universal landing platform capable of seamlessly transitioning from the launch pads on Earth to the harsh terrain of the Moon. There is a need for upgraded legs to be adaptable, able to handle a broad spectrum of landing conditions over a long period of time. It will remain a tight-lipped secret as to the specifics of these upgrades, but one thing is for certain SpaceX is actively working on developing robust and reliable landing leg T as the Starship development propels forward. These powerful upgrades are poised to play a pivotal role in ushering in a new era of space exploration. The culmination of all these modifications and changes is a singular, ambitious vision of spacecraft capable of transporting humans, cargo and payloads to a variety of destinations, be it Earth's orbit, the lunar surface or even the red plains of Mars. The Starship is a work in progress and perfection is a constantly evolving target. What changes do you think SpaceX engineers should implement to ensure a successful human mission to Mars? Share your thoughts and join the conversation in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the latest videos.